What prompts you to sit down and say, I, I, I want to write a book, I want to be an author? Uh, well, it, it was... Uh, it, it was something on my, my, my on my mind. Uh, it's it's been it's been in the air for for, for a while, but uh, and and now I'm finished with that project, and it was it was a, f a good run. We had a good time doing it, and uh, so so here I am with a book. So you know I got some good feedback, and uh, you know overall it was it was we had a good time doing it. What do you think MMA fans and, and people in general are going to take away from it? What are they going to know about you that they, they might not have known before? I don't know. Not more than certain details, maybe. I don't know. It's, you know I just left everything out there in the book. So it's also a way for me to give, give the fans, you know, give, give back the fans something. You know, they, they can they get, get another, maybe another, like, perspective on things and, and, and they will so they will know me even closer so did did going through that process of examining your life and thinking about fighting did that help you find any more motivation to get back in the cage no not really this was just a side project as I wasn't even like you know it was just something I wanted to give the fans it wasn't really a, a, a career thing thinking uh, way at all I, I didn't think that I was just doing it because you know I was as a as a person you know it wasn't it wasn't it was just me as a person that 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 did did this and and not not thinking the career or anything like that uh, but I got some good feedback and and people like it and uh, so I'm very happy about that and, and now I'm sitting here so even in February, you were talking about motivation and, and finding the motivation to fight. Was there any particular moment at which, or, or time period, that you said, now the time is right, I want to get back into the gym and I want to fight again? It's hard. It's, it's uh, you know, I, I, never, I never lost my motivation like that. You know? I, I don't know why people telling me that, you know, like, oh, he, he's going to quit, stuff like that, shit like that. You know, it's, you know, I just, I just had like two losses i just lost my fight just on the on the on the finish line with dc you know people will cry doing that shit and, and that's that's you know it's, it's a good it's a good blow and, and, and you know it hits your heart and, and people don't really understand the feeling with the thoughts you have in your mind when you're training so hard for something and you lose it just on very small small details people don't understand that and so, you know, you say stuff and people are, oh, he's going to quit like that, bam, bam, bam. No, but you, you don't get it, man. You, you haven't been in that, that, those shoes. You haven't been in those clothes. You have no idea how it feels, you know. So, for me, of course, you, 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 motivation gets, 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 gets a setback. But, you know, this is my life. This is what I do. This is what I love to do. And it's one thing saying something. It's another thing doing it. And this is my life. This is all I know. So, you know, it was just like... You know, just take that that hit and keep moving forward and, 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 and train. Nothing. I've been training the whole year. Even if I haven't been active competing, I've been training. I've been training the whole summer. I've been training the whole year. I started my camp very early, so so I'm more than ready for this fight. When did they call you to fight Jan, and, and what were your thoughts? Uh, wow. It was along the summer here, uh, maybe about eight, eight, nine, ten weeks back. Uh, I don't really remember when they called me, but uh, but they asked me about it, and you know, hey, I, I'm up for it. He's a European, and he's he's a very tough, good, humble guy, and you know, it's it's all all, all the respect. But uh, you know, it's it's uh, I saw this this opportunity in Hamburg, Illyrs fighting, you know, let's have a good fight. How did it feel getting back into a training camp? Uh, I think you were talking about in the special it was kind of brutal the training that you were going through how did it feel being back in that process again and getting ready for a fight in our training camp is always tough as whoever you want to ask it's 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 a really really tough time and it felt actually good because if you don't do it you you miss it and when you when you're doing it you hate it it's one of those like hate and love thing you have to do to, to the grind, but uh, but uh, it went very smooth, and, and here I am. I'm, I'm more than ready. I had a good, a good, good, good weeks of training, and, and uh, good guys training with. So I was at All Stars Training Center at my gym, having a good camp, and and uh, I'm more than ready on Saturday. 
So what do you want for your career after this fight? Assuming you beat Jan, do you want a title shot immediately? Uh, Dana talked about doing a title eliminator between Johnson and Jones and the winner fighting Cormier. Where do you see yourself on the title picture and the UFC's uh, future in the light heavyweight division? Well, I'm aim aiming to be the best, though. You know, I got two, two, I had two chances, but it's all about the third, isn't it? So, so I'm looking for that, that opportunity right now. I'm just focusing on John Blakovich. Uh, you know, take one fight at a time. I want to win my fight, and I don't look, I don't look over anybody. I just, I just see John Blakovich as a, as a real threat, and he's coming with his A game. So I have to be ready, and I will be ready. Couple of